Hey, Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics, and this is Wesley Matthews, NBA Shooting Secrets. All right, before we get started, a big shout out has to go to Kevin Durantula on Twitter, who is our Andre Drummond Tweet gift card giveaway. Um, so congrats to him for the $25 Foot Locker gift certificate. Um, and it was awesome. We got a ton of tweets on Andre Drummond, and he actually followed me on Twitter. So I sent him a direct message. You know, who knows? Maybe he'll message me back. Maybe he won't. But I can't be more thankful for the, the support that you guys gave me. Um, we're going to do a lot more of those in the future. So stay tuned. A lot more giveaways coming. So the first thing I want to talk about on Wesley Matthews' jumper is his lift, or lack thereof. Kind of like Paul Pierce, he doesn't get much lift in his jumper, but it's perfect proof that it doesn't matter how much lift you get, it matters how you use it. So experiment with your own lift. Some people like it high, some people like it low, some people like it somewhere in the middle. Just know it doesn't really matter as long as you're transferring your momentum properly. A big mistake that a lot of players make is they just think more lift is better, so they jump as high as they possibly can and it kills the momentum of the basketball in their shot. So if I was you, I would just find a lift that's comfortable and then adjust your release to match. That's probably the easiest way to get a fluent stroke that's 100% energy efficient. Next, let's talk about the thing that goes hand in hand with the lift, and that's the release timing. Like I mentioned before, your lift really doesn't matter if your release doesn't match. And Wesley Matthews has optimized his release timing. Check out how Wesley Matthews begins to extend his shooting arm right as his toes are coming off the ground on his lift. And because his release is timed perfectly, the energy of his jump travels through his body and into the basketball's flight. A big problem that I see in a lot of young athletes' jump shots is that they release the ball too early or too late and it kills the momentum of their jump. So play around with the timing of your release and see what transfers the momentum from your jump the best. And next, let's talk about Wesley Matthews' leg drift. Now he gets a much bigger leg drift when he's shooting off of the move, but it's a great way to add balance into his jumper. A leg drift is basically just the idea of letting your dominant leg drift forward slightly on a jumper. Doing this, even if just ever so slightly, can add balance to your jump shot and help transfer your momentum up rather than sideways. That's why it's used a ton when shooting off of the move. Notice how on this shot, he's not even really moving that much and his feet start pretty squared, but as he releases the ball, his right foot drifts forward. Again, it's all about optimizing your balance and your energy. So work on different amount of leg drifts and see what works best for you. All right, and don't forget if you're new to shot mechanics, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, you're gonna wanna hit that subscription button because we got four to five videos coming every week and I wanna get you better. Number two, hit that annotation above or the link in the description to get a free copy of our top three favorite shooting secrets. These are my favorite mechanics that you can add directly into your jumper and probably increase your shooting percentage overnight. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on Monday for our Joe of the Week.